Hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss a fascinating topic, synchronized hair loss during finasteride treatment for androgenetic alopecia, also known as male pattern baldness. So let's get into this and check out the hair growth cycle in detail. First, let's talk about the hair growth cycle. There are three main phases, antigen, catagen, and telogen. The antigen phase. This is the active growth phase of the hair follicle, which can last from two to six years. During this time, hair grows at an average rate at about half an inch per month. Catagen phase. This is a short transitional phase lasting about two to three weeks. In this phase, the hair follicle detaches from the blood supply and starts to shrink. Finally, the telogen phase. This is the resting phase lasting about three months. After this phase, the hair will eventually shed and a new hair will start to grow from the same follicle, beginning a new antigen phase. Now, there are some other lesser known phases which primarily deal with the telogen phase and how we split the telogen phase. So there's the exogen phase, which occurs after the telogen phase, and this is where hair primarily sheds out because telogen can be thought of as just the resting phase in general. And then after exogen, there's the kenogen phase, which is the empty hair follicle phase. So this is the stage in which the stem cells start to get ready to create a new hair going into the antigen phase. But really, there are primarily three phases, antigen, catagen, and telogen. Now, let's discuss finasteride at a high level overview. Finasteride is a medication that is used to treat benign prosthetic hyperplasia, but also male pattern baldness, which is called androgenetic alopecia. When it comes to the treatment of male pattern baldness, finasteride affects the hair growth cycle. Finasteride works by blocking the conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone, also known as DHT, which contributes to hair follicle miniaturization in individuals with androgenetic alopecia. It does this by inhibiting the 5-alpha reductase type 2 enzyme, which is an enzyme that converts testosterone to DHT. This type 2 enzyme is located in the hair follicles and also the prostate, but when it's blocked in the hair follicles, it leads to the reduction of DHT in the scalp. And this, in many cases, halts hair loss, slows it down, and in some individuals, they get substantial regrowth and maintenance over time. Studies have shown that finasteride treatment can increase the number of hairs in the antigen phase and improve the antigen to telogen phase ratio. This leads to peak efficacy at one or two years of treatment. So basically, it increases the number of hairs that are growing to the number of hairs that are falling out. If you can remember what antigen means and what telogen means and then place that into antigen to telogen ratio. After the initial improvement in hair growth, some individuals may experience a shedding period. This occurs because the hairs that entered the antigen phase together during finasteride treatment reach the end of their hair growth cycles and enter the telogen phase in a partially synchronized manner. As a result, these hairs shed simultaneously, leading to a temporary decline in hair count. However, don't worry. This shedding period is typically temporary. As subsequent hair growth cycles occur, the hairs lose their synchronized characteristic and become more independent in their hair growth cycles. And then eventually there's this normalization period over time, leading to sustained increase in hair count at a plateau above baseline. But what does that mean? As you continue your finasteride treatment, you will have cycles of shedding, and these cycles of shedding will become less severe as the hairs become less synchronized. Because when you started taking finasteride, all of the hairs that were being affected by DHT, all of them were essentially freed and they were allowed to grow, thus synchronizing their growth cycles. This has been noted in the medical literature, and I don't think dermatologists actually convey this to their patients because there are many cases, if you go on Reddit online, where people report having a great initial hair growth and then a year and a half, maybe two years down the line, they go through a shedding phase and then they interpret this as finasteride not working for them, which causes many people to not use finasteride anymore, to quit hair loss products altogether because they think it's futile, or they start using other more experimental chemicals to address their hair loss, when in reality, they were going through a shedding phase. Now, with this kind of treatment using finasteride and also in conjunction with minoxidil, the best you can do 
overall, when we look at in the entirety of cases, is potentially slow down hair loss, depending on where you start out, whether you're at a Norwood 1, 2, or 5, or 6, right? Sometimes the best we can do is slow it down. Then we have halting hair loss, and then in some people, completely staving it off and regrowing hair. And that usually happens in the earlier Norwood scales if you catch hair loss at a Norwood 1, 2, or 3. In my opinion, if you aren't seeing any progress after 4 years, I think it would be wise to switch to Dutasteride. But still, it tends to be the case that it takes 5 years for you to have a sustained, stabilized hair growth. And if you caught your hair loss at an early stage, like I mentioned before, Norwood's 1 to 3, then you may not have to use Dutasteride. You can just stick with Finasteride and write it out. So there you have it. Synchronized hair loss is a normal part of the hair growth cycle when undergoing Finasteride treatment for androgenetic alopecia. It's essential to keep in mind that individual responses to Finasteride may vary. If you have concerns about your hair loss or are considering Finasteride treatment, be sure to consult a healthcare professional because I'm just some guy on YouTube with a mic and you know I make fitness videos and talk about hair loss and play video games and uh, <laughs> I guess it's whatever, right? So thank you for joining me and hope to see you on the next video. Peace out, guys.